Hey Galaxies, it's Tia and I'm back with a brand new video. Cosplay is a magical art. It allows ourselves to transform from everyday characters to characters that we craft from bits of fabrics and thread, makeup and body paint, and of course, wigs. The best part about cosplay is that it's easy to start doing it. In this video, you will learn how to start cosplaying and have your first cosplay ready for your next convention. Number one. She's a character that you love. Cosplay is about cosplaying characters that you resonate with. You'll do the world and yourself a favor by bringing a character that you love to life. Number two, research that character. There are four ways that I like to research a character. The first way is to watch the television show, the movie, comic, manga, wherever the character is from, and just watch or read about their personality traits and get a true understanding of who they are. The second thing I do when I research a character, I Google search their hairstyles, their outfit, their eye color, and just get an idea of their overall physical appearance and the things that I need to bring to life. The third thing I do is I Google search insert blank character's name, cosplay. So I'll see cosplays that other people have already done of that character, get like inspiration or ideas about what I could do as well to bring that character to life and make it look super awesome. And then the fourth thing I'll do is I'll Google search answer characters' names, poses. I usually do this um, like towards the end of my cosplay or right before convention. I'll research different poses that the character does or like facial expressions and try to like mimic them so that when a photographer comes, I'm like, I'm ready. I know, okay, I got my Mikasa on. That's not Mikasa. These four things will help you understand who you're cosplaying, what fabrics you need for their outfit, if you plan on making it yourself, what hairstyle you need to do, or what wig you need to buy, and what contacts you need to buy, if you want to buy contacts and wear them, it's up to you. Also, researching other people cosplaying the same character as you will give you inspiration. Number three, choose a method to construct your cosplay. There are four ways you can go about getting a costume. The first method is a closet cosplay, and that I find is the most budget-friendly method. A closet cosplay is generally made from items that are already in your closet. So what you need to do is select items in your closet that have the same color as your characters and are resemble the cut and style of your character's outfit. Also, you can visit a thrift store and shop other people's clothing for a cheap price. It's extremely common in the cosplay community to wear clothes that are already made and if you know how to, to sew or craft other parts of the costume yourself. The second method I would recommend is buying a costume. Although this method is generally pretty expensive. It can go from anywhere from like $50 to $300, like, it's pretty insane. So many people buy their costumes, it's just, it's a thing. A lot of people do it, there's nothing wrong with it. Although some people might make you feel like there's something wrong with it, but those people are cosplay elitists, so ignore the cosplay elitists. The secret to buying good costumes is researching the best websites to buy cosplay costumes. Ensure that the ratings or reviews are above four stars and over, and ensure that there is an option for you to customize the measurements of the cosplay you're ordering. Not all websites will give you an option, like eBay sometimes will, will have like, oh, here's your small, medium, large, and extra large, choose one. I would recommend taking your own measurements and like, have an idea of what will fit you best before you ever purchase anything online. Some websites like cosplayhoo.com, they allow you to put in your custom measurements in so that they can tailor a costume for you. The biggest problem I hear about buying a costume online is fit, quality, and accuracy. It is rare that cosplays are 100% accurate to the original character's costume because sometimes when you buy online, the fabric color can be inaccurate in comparison with the original character's outfit. That happened to me, like one of my first cosplays I did was like season one version of Korra and I bought it online and like the little pelt thing that she has underneath was like black and I knew that was not the right color. Like, that's not the right color. What are you making it black? I don't understand, okay? It is a very beautiful dark blue, not black. So yeah, that, that can happen. If this is a major concern for you, just keep that in mind when you're buying a costume online. I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm not, okay. The third method is to make your cosplay, which definitely is in the budget friendly to expensive range depending on what materials you need. In fact, this method kind of deserves a whole video on itself, right? so I won't be going into too much detail in this video. And again, I have a blog, so I'm probably gonna be writing about all this stuff as well and like breaking it down in detail for you if you need like actual visual pictures and stuff. If you'd like to make a costume, make sure you study your character's appearance, especially the outfit color, and definitely save images of your character's outfits and look and eye color and just different parts of her outfit or his outfit on your phone because you can bring that with you 
to the fabric store. You can show these photos to the people who work at your local fabric store and they can help you find fabrics that will work best for your costume. And that's a really, really important thing I find. Like, and the beautiful thing about cosplay is you can totally remix the shades and the fabrics of items. Like making a cosplay definitely is different for everybody. But for me personally, you really have to think about creatively. Like you look at an image, a character, have to kind of look at her clothing articles. Oh. You know, this little furry thing over here, it kind of looks like it's real fur. I can go to the fabric store and look for fur, buy fur to make that fur thing come to life. Or that part looks like it's velvet, I need to go buy velvet fabric. Or that looks like it's cotton, or that looks like it's a mix between cotton and polyester. Another thing for making your own cosplay is that you will need to learn how to sew if you don't know how to do so already. As well as how to create a custom sewing pattern, or at least how to follow a pre-made sewing pattern that you can modify for your cosplay costume. If you know what a sewing pattern is, don't worry. I'm probably gonna be making a video about all of this shortly. I'm probably gonna see if I can bug one of my friends who are way more pro than me and t get them to talk about all this stuff because they, they know the ish, they know their ish. They're like, they're like super pro. You will also need to buy a sewing machine if you don't have one already. Um, but my sewing machine was like $100 and um, that's one of the cheaper ones, so unless you get a used one um, off Kijiji or something, like like a hundred dollars, I would say at Walmart is like probably the cheapest. I guess the I guess what you could use if you don't have one already. Another thing I want to mention is that um, this is just like if you're working with a costume that's made out of fabrics, but sometimes there's costumes that work with a whole bunch of different materials. I'm talking about like body paint for one thing, warbla, like so many different materials that things to make armory and stuff. There's a lot of like people who know way more about this than I do on YouTube who have videos about warbla and have videos about how to make armor from scratch. Like I'm gonna put her name right here because my brain just died. This person is the mom diggity. They make the best armor costumes ever. And she has an entire book on how to make armor. And I haven't read it myself, but I, I honestly, I just I see her work and I kind of just trust that she's probably made a really good book on this. So um, yeah, I would recommend checking her out if you're interested in making an armor costume. And another thing I want to mention, this is kind of like a fourth method kind of, getting your cosplay commissioned. So there's a lot of people, I even have a friend who does this, where people ask her to make a cosplay, a commission a cosplay. So you pay whatever fee that they're asking, and I guess it's based on your cosplay choice, and you can get a cosplay sewn and created for you. Um, and that's probably even better than buying online sometimes because they will actually do the measurements on you in person directly and then they'll sew the costume for you and it will be made to fit for your shape and, I'm, and who knows, I'm not sure how everyone works but sometimes maybe people might be willing to um, allow you to pick the fabric choices and etc etc so that's an option too and I find the best way to kind of get cosplay commissions is Facebook. Facebook is honestly amazing for specifically the cosplay community. Um, and at least in Toronto, I'm not sure about LA or places around the world, but I know Toronto, for example, if you type in like cosplay commissions or like cosplay Toronto or like Anime North Facebook group or whatever, these groups have thousands of people in it. And it's a huge community of cosplayers who you know, you've probably met at conventions already in one place online and there are actually cosplay commission groups where people who commission cosplays, like, they're like, hey, I'm I'm open for commissions. So I think that if you type in cosplay commissions or like just, just a general cosplay group in your local area, you can probably find someone to commission outfit for you. Or if you have a friend, use them. <laughs> Overall, creating your own costume can be very satisfying. And once you learn sewing basics and begin to practice, you'll realize that it's not as difficult as it may seem at first. It's pretty easy to get started cosplaying. All you need to do is research your character, plan, brainstorm materials, choose a method of creating your costume, and execute. And I'm I know you can do it. You can do it. You got this. You got this. I'm gonna see those cosplay costumes, guys. So like, if you actually end up creating a costume, like, just like at me on Twitter at becoming tr or on Instagram and let me check it out because I'll be like, oh, you did it. I'll be your cheerleader. If you guys know of any other methods that I missed in this video for you start getting started with cosplay, please leave them in the comments below because someone could definitely use that help if I've missed something. Also in the comments below, let me know what you're cosplaying this year if you are cosplaying. Yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.